Hey, Mark Rice here, and it's not necessary for me to be number one, but I love fast and easy tutorials. If you like this animation, it's cool, because I decided to share my animation process with you. And if you want to try it, you can download my illustration for free. Just check out the link below. So, let's start. So, first I will import the file. Go here in the project tab, then import file, locate your file, select it and hit import button. Here select composition and layer size and click OK. OK, cool. Here I have my composition, so double click on it. And now we are ready for the race. OK, cool. The duration of the animation will be 1 second, so I will change it here. In the composition, then composition settings. And here, type 1. Cool. Ok, so first we will start with this glow here. So select this layer, move it here, ok. Then go on the first frame and hit P on the keyboard for the position settings. And create the first keyframe, ok. Go, I don't know, in the middle of the animation for example, and move it here. Ok. Cool. Select these keyframes and hit F9 for the smooth animation. Go, go, go and stop. And I want the same for the second part of the animation. So go here. Ok. Hold Alt on the keyboard. And in property, select Loop Out. Ok, try now, beautiful. And as you can see I need a mask for this, so I will use it, the glass layer for it. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, move it here and change the name. Ok, then select the glow layer and here select alpha matte mask. Let me check. Ok, I like it. Beautiful. Now I will select the mask layer together with the glow layer and glass layer. Up, like this. And parent these layers with the car. Let me check. Ok, cool. And now the wheels. So select the front wheel. Hit R on the keyboard and create the first keyframe on the first frame. Cool. Ok, go here on the 10th frame and type 1. Beautiful. Select these keyframes, hit F9. Ok. And copy loop out expression. Hold out. Type here and that's it. Let me check. So look at this. Don't use F9 for the wheel. Just rate animation. So I will delete these keyframes and make it again. Now it's okay. Do the same with the second wheel as well. Ok, just one thing, if you want to animate the wheels in the opposite direction, the first keyframe needs to be minus 1 and the second 0. And that's it, so move on. Ok, beautiful, now the car. So select the car layer, together with the wing layer, here, and engine as well. Ok, hit P on the keyboard and create the first keyframes. Cool. Ok, here somewhere on the 5th frame, move it everything down a bit, on the first 
it can be up and on the 10th frame copy the first keyframes okay something like this select the keyframes and hit f9 and here i will need the loop out as well so i'll copy it Okay, maybe it's too much, but I'll leave it like this. And if you want to see the magic of the animation, just move this layer for the one frame and the engine layer for the three frames. And fix this part as well. Okay. And look at this, now we just created this daily effect, so it's much better now. So, I finished with the car, now dust and the environment, and that's it. Select the dust layer and move it here on the top of the layers. And change the position of the anchor point. So, go here, select pen behind and change the anchor point to the bottom. like this okay cool change the color of the layers as well to yellow hit p for the position and create the keyframe on the first frame and i need that for the size so hit s on the keyboard and create one more keyframe then hit u on the keyboard and now i can see my keyframes here okay beautiful so now go on the last frame okay and move it here something like this and you can change the opacity as well so hit t on the keyboard and it can be i don't know maybe 75 okay cool okay here on the first frame i will change scale to 10 Okay, on the last will be zero and here in the middle of the animation will be 100. Okay, let me check. Okay, cool. Now select these keyframes and hit F9. And I will need the loop expression for these options as well. And here as well. Let me check. And now I will create the real thing with the dust. So select this layer, duplicate it with Ctrl plus D and move it by three frames, like this. And repeat the process until the end. Okay, now select all these layers. Okay, and this position here needs to be on the first frame. So move it here. Okay, and fix this part as well. Just hold and drag. Like this. Okay, let me check. I'll change the size. Okay, that's it. Oh, beautiful. And now, easy part. Go here, select trail 1, okay, move it here, outside of the composition, go on the first frame, hit P on the keyboard and create the keyframe. Then go on the last frame, hold shift and move it here, okay, select these keyframes and hit F9. Cool, I will do that with the trail 2 as well, 
So hit P on the keyboard, create the keyframe, hold shift, move it here. And the second keyframe will be in the middle of the animation, because this part will be faster than this one. Okay, select the keyframes F9 and here I will need loop out. Okay, let me check. Cool. And the last rail. So move it here, go on the first frame, hit P on the keyboard, create the first keyframe, and the second keyframe will be on the 10th frame. So move it here. Select these keyframes, F9, go here, hold Alt, and copy the loop up expression. Okay, that's it for today. I hope that you like it. If you like it, download my illustration and try it. And stay tuned, because the best is yet to come. Oh yeah, peace. Thank you.